Alright, today we're going to go through the first two units of Faber and Faber's Lesson Book A, my first piano adventure. So we want to turn first to page six, the I'm Great pose. This is called posture. And you want to sit up straight and tall, not leaning back, not slumping forward, straight and tall, knees right and under the front of your piano, sitting on the front part of your bench. Make little clouds with your hands. Relax your fingers onto the keys, and that's your I'm Great pose. They say you can try something, get a little stuffed animal, and see if you can balance it on your head and count to 10. So try that. All right, next page. You're just experimenting with sounds on the piano, short sounds where you pop with your fingertips. Hold out some long sounds. Loud sounds. But always use your fingertips. Not flat. And try to play near the edges of the keys, the ends of them. And then you also want to practice playing softly on your fingertips. Tap the fall board, knock, knock, and then tap your piano bench. That's it. Next page. You can play this song with your CD, Will You Play? And you'll just follow the instructions that it has in the song. The next page is Stone on the Mountain, where you get to practice your cloud hand, but you're actually going to pretend you're holding big, colorful, magical rocks. And you get to picture which colors you have, and then try it with the rhythm. Stone on the mountain falls to the ground. Hold it, mold it, roll it around. Lift your thumb, tap, one, two, three. Whoosh goes the wind, and land the keys. Then you check yourself to make sure, am I still holding my stones, my big rocks? Did they get smaller? Did I let go? Or am I still holding them? So check your hand position. Make sure you can control your hands and have it nice and round, gently resting on the keys. Then you go to the next page. You can play the name game where you make an O shape with your one and two fingers. Thumbs are ones, these are twos. And you can do a chant with your name. Let's all play a game. Hold it out. Play and say your name. Amy. Like that. You try yours. Ready? Go. Let's all play a game. Two, three, four. Play and say your name. Good job. The next one, Tiger, Tiger, you go to the very lowest key on the piano, and that's an A. You might not be able to see it on my piano. And then you skip one white key, and you do your donut on the other note, which will be a C. If you go A, skip B, play C, and you'll go A to C, A to C, A, 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 then together, together, and the tune is Tiger. Great job. Next page. This is unit two. Going through all of our fingers. If these are ones and these are twos, then what's next? Threes, fours, fives. Good job. And you're going to do a little song right here for cookie dough, pretending to push down on your fingertips. Balance one, then you'll do balance two, balance three, balance four, and balance five, and you can do it with the other hand too. This is one you can do with your CD. The next one, you're just going to play from middle C, here's our twins. Middle C is right before the twins. See if you can find middle C by yourself. Find the twins, and 
right in front of the twins' middle C. You're going to do a 3-1 donut, 3-1 donut. One, two, three. And you're going to pretend to dip a donut into milk by dipping from your wrist. Dip. Try it with your right hand. One, two, three. Dip, dip, going up from C. Dip, 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 dip. And you can circle a donut in your book every time you go all the way up the piano from middle C to the top on this page. And every time you go from middle C all the way to the bottom, circle a donut on your left hand page and say this with me. Left hand plays down low. Right hand, that's an R in sign language. Right hand flies up high. And you go high. Go ahead and try that on your piano. Unless it hurts too much. And then try it with your left hand. Left hand plays down low. Goes all the way down. Alright, here's how to play Twinkle Twinkle on page 20 and 21. You have C, D, E, F, and G plus A. Since after our musical alphabet, we start over again. After A, B, C, D, E, F, G, we start again at A. And they want you to play it with a donut. So get out your 3-1 donut. And you can watch the colors to see how many notes you're going to skip over. So from red to green, you're going to skip over one, two, three notes, your D, E, and F notes. And you can write in a pencil in your book, D, E, F, and A, if that'll help you to jump to the right notes. Another thing to remember is if it's going up on the page, up towards the ceiling, it's going up the piano to the high notes. And if it's coming down the page where it would go down and hit the floor eventually, you're coming back down, you're going to the left. Left is to go lower. All right? So you'll start off C, C, G, G, A, A, G. Think about the tune. write in the names of the notes if that helps. You don't want to do anything to the keys. You don't want to look down at your hand as much as possible. Only when you skip from C up to G. From C up to G. And you can look here too when you go from D back to C. You can make sure you land back on C. Other than that, just practice going up and down without even looking. Alright, we're on Unit 3. And the first thing you're going to do is monster bus driver. So get out these three fingers on each hand, two, three, and four. Keep your hands open, but only use these fingers. On the black sets, either the twins for the first line, and then on the second line, you're going to move to the triplets. And this is a song you could do with your CD. So just get those fingers ready. Be ready with the twins or the triplets, and then you copy the pattern. So if they go, pizza pie, you'll play pizza pie, but they won't say pizza pie. You just got to think about how many beats they're doing. So if they go, you think to yourself, hold it, hold it, or whatever you want to say. Or if you go, you play, So whatever the pattern is, you just copy it on that page. 
The next two pages are totally with the CD. You try to sing along with it. You don't really have to play anything. For Mitzi's cat back, just do your wrist up and down like that. Do a cat back. Do a cat back. Next page. Left hand rainbows and right hand rainbows. Get out your two and three for each hand. One, two, three. Just two and three, but keep your hand open. Left hand's going to start with the twins right in front of middle C. Rainbow up and down and up and down and up and down. Try that with the CD. Then do the same thing with your right hand for right hand rainbows. Twins around middle C. Ready? Rainbow up and down and up and down and up and down. Great job. Kangaroo Show. You're still going to use your two and three on the twins, but you're going to play some notes just with the twos. Just with your twos. Starting on the twins by middle C. Two, 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 together. Down we go. Two, 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 together. Down we go. Two, 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 together. Down we go. Together. Same thing with the right hand for Katie Scores. Right hand. Two, 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 together. Up we go. Stay on your fingertips. Two, two, together. Up we go. Two, 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 together. Up we go. Together. Great job on those. And that's the end of unit three. All right, here we are on unit four. Tiger is at my door is your first song. Now there's something you've got to know before you start. First of all, part of it is loud and part of it is soft. So remember when you made loud and soft sounds on the piano at the beginning of the book. To play loudly, you don't bang your whole arms. You just put more weight into your note. Just let your arm drop into your fingertip, like that. So tigers, since they're loud animals, you'll play forte. Rabbits, piano. Puppies, forte. And spiders, piano. Be spooky if spiders were loud, wouldn't it? So on tigers and rabbits, puppies, and spiders, you're going to do the same pattern. You're going to play the same notes for each animal but sometimes it'll be loud and sometimes it'll be soft. You're going to do with a 2-1 donut, marching up from this C all the way up to the next C before the twins. The one thing you have to remember about your pattern is that you're going to play the fifth note when you count to five. One, two, three, four, five tigers at my door. Play the five again. Five, six, seven, eight. Hey, let's roar and stay up late. So maybe on your, in your book, circle those two fives to help you remember from the very first time you play this to play the five two times. That's the big thing to remember on this song. So let's try it one time. One, two, donut. One, two, three, four, five tigers at my door. Five, six, seven, eight. Hey, let's roar and stay up late. Back to one, two, three, four, five rabbits at my door. Five, six, seven, eight. Hey, let's hop and stay up late. One, two, three. And then on the CD, it'll say, piano forte, and you get to shout, okay? So the other thing I need to remind you of is that when you go from your high note to your lower C, you want to be doing that while 
you say the words at the end of your pattern. When you go five, six, seven, eight, hey, let's roar and stay up late. So you're ready to get back on your one right away. Be thinking ahead, doing a rainbow while you say the words at the end of the song. The next song, Wendy the Whale, is a lot like your kangaroo song where you'll use your two by themselves. It's only with the left hand though. And then at the end, you'll do two, 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 three, 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 and play the fourth one time on your triplets. So here we go. Let's try it. Two, 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 together on the triplets. Down we go. Two, 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 together. Down we go to the next triplets. Two, 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 together. And then we play the two by itself. Two, 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 three, three, three. And our fourth finger. Hold it and listen. Magic Treehouse is the last song in this unit. And it's pretty much just like Wendy the Whale, but with the right hand, and you play the last part of it piano or softly. You ready to try it? Get your right hand, two, three, four. Ready on the triplets above middle C. And you'll start with two, 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 together. Up we go. Two, 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 together. Up we go. Two, 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 together. Up we go. Highest triplets. And then we're going to play softly. Two finger, three finger, four finger. Two finger, three finger, four finger, two. And listen and color that rainbow really pretty. In unit five, we'll be playing different types of notes. Our first type of note is a quarter note that gets one beat. Make a shape of a quarter note with your hand to remember. It's filled in with a stem. Quarter note gets one beat. So here are four quarter notes and how that would sound. One, 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 one. Or a little bit slower. One, 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 one. You can draw them yourself here. Fill it in with a stem. Filled in with a stem. Quarter note gets one beat. On dancing feet, you can play this game with your mom or one of your brothers or sisters where someone plays one of the boxes and you have to guess which box they're playing, which friend is playing this box. So if I played one, 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 with my right hand, where the stem is going up, I know that's Millie. I think it's Millie, it might be Marta. But those are four quarter notes. If I were to play four quarter notes with my left hand, who's playing that? Katie. Four quarter notes with the left hand because the stem is going down. All right, so play that game and see how good you can get at um, counting those beats in your head and looking and seeing is this left hand or is this right hand? Which way is the stem going? How many notes did they play with which hand? Give it a shot. Play the game with your parents or one of your brothers or sisters. Cuckoo clock. We have two and three, both hands, on twins. It can be any twins you want. Just to make it fun, go wherever you want. If the stem is going up, we want to use our right hand. If the stem is going down, we want to use our left hand. So I want you to say with me, right when right is supposed to play, and left when left is supposed to play. So let's look at this line first and try this. Right, right, left, left, right, left, right, left. And you could try that without playing it too. You can just say right, right, left, left, right, left, right, left. And then when you actually play it, use your repeat sign. This is telling you to go back and play it again so you can sing the second line nice and soft. Once you've played through it two times, loud the first line, soft for the second time through, then you play the ending where both hands play the twins at the same time because they're written on top of each other. So you'll play one, two, three, Got it? 
try that one with the CD. It's a good one. And then we have Dinosaur Music Night. We're going to have right hand on triplets. Two, three, four. Leave your hand open. Fingertips. Left hand. Two, three. Make sure you're still sitting up straight in your I'm great pose. And we're going to start with right hand loudly on number four. Which hand? Right hand. Soft or loud? Loud. And which finger starts? Four. Ready? Here we go. Four. Four again. Three. Three again. Two. Left hand together, together, together. Repeat. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. Left hand twins. 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 Repeat. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. Twins. 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 Ending. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. All together. Very loud. Fortissimo. All right. So we get to go double loud at the end, which means fortissimo in Italian. Okay. That is super loud and fun to play like that. So give that a try. You see how it says play three times because we have three lines to sing. I don't know how you feel, but it would be so fun to have a pet dinosaur. On here, we're going to just review over C, D, E. And these are the notes right around the twins. So we already know where C is. Right after C in the alphabet is D and E. And you're going to make little paw prints all over the piano. C, D, E, 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 C, D, E. Try to do those as quick as you can, finding the twins and going right around them. Remember that in between the twins is D is for the doggy with the two black ears. Try that. D is for the doggy with the two black ears. And if you have that D, then you have C and E right around it. You can play Wabbit the Rabbit with someone from your family too, where they say the little rhyme and then land on one of the notes and you have to name it and try to play it um, on the piano somewhere. The last song in this unit is Little Lost Kitty, which has a really pretty duet on the CD. Or you can play it with your teacher or someone who can read this music. So find your CD E sets where we just used our paw prints. And we're going to start with the left hand. How are we going to play? Soft or loud? Loudly. With our two finger on E. So here we go. E, E, D, D, C, C, D, D. Right hand. C, C, D, D, E, D, C, C. Repeat. E. repeat sign at the end that sends you back to the beginning to play the second verse and the whole song is loud you don't have to think about going softer or anything but you have those two spots and remember after you play the D right here with your three you're going to be going to the right hand two so you might need to practice that a few times going from three to two three to two so you're ready to get up there right away with no nap time in the middle all right Go straight to the right hand on page 45. Great job on that unit. Congratulations, you're already halfway through your book. Unit six, we're going to add half notes to the kind of notes that you know how to play. We covered quarter notes. Show me the shape you've got filled in with a stem and it's worth one beat. So now we're gonna empty out our middle where we can see through it. We've got a half note and that gets two beats. So when you play it, it sounds like this. One, two. Try to play a few half notes yourself. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. You got it? And then you can draw some yourself over here too. Some left hand ones with a down stem, 
some right hand ones with an up stem, and you can play the same game that you did with the quarter notes, but now you've got half notes and quarter notes to listen to. So if I played one, 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 two, you would look for a quarter, quarter, half note with the right hand going up high. There it is, it's Carlos's. One, 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 two. You try one. Pick any box, hold it out with the beats, and see if somebody can guess who's playing that box. If I wanted to play Marta's box, I would go one, two, one, two, and you can play it with a two, one donut or however you want, okay? Awesome. Monsieur Mouse. This has quarter notes and half notes. So what you might want to do every time you see a half note, say hold after it because you want to hold it one beat longer. Here's how it would sound. My left hand group, four, three, two, on, C, D, and E. I would say C, D, E, hold, E, D, C, hold. Or if you're not sure what those notes are yet, keep saying your finger numbers and say four, three, two, hold, two, three, four, hold, three, 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 hold, two, 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 hold. You see? And you do want to practice it until you can say the names of the notes and still hold out your half notes. So the right hand in the end, you'd want to have C, D, E, hold, E, D, C, hold, D, But you could try that way with the CD too, or you could try it singing the words and see if you can hold the notes out even when you sing the words. That's kind of extra credit and bonus. It's harder though. So try Monsieur Mouse. Make sure you start naming your finger numbers, but saying hold for all the half notes to make sure you hold it out long enough. Half notes get two beats. All right, for Raccoon's Lullaby, we're going to put our left hand two and three on the twins, our right hand two, three, and four on the triplets. And which hand starts? Right hand, two finger, right here. And we're going to play softly because it's a lullaby for a pet raccoon. I wish I had one, but not really because I heard they like to get in the trash and empty it out all over the place. <laughs> Here we go, you ready? We're gonna say two, hold, two, hold, two, hold, two, hold, two, two, three, hold, four, four, three, hold. Next page. Two, hold, two, hold, two, Two, hold, two, two, three, hold, four, three, two, hold. So what's the only note we play with our left hand in this song? The two finger, right there on that twin. So we'll go back and forth between these twos at the beginning. Two, 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 two three, four, four, three. Two, 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 three, four, three, two. You want to try it really fast? Try it with me really fast, or just say the uh, finger numbers with me if you don't want to play it fast. Try saying the finger numbers with me fast. Ready? Here we go. Two, hold, two, hold, two, hold, two, hold, two, hold, two, two three, hold, four, four, three, hold, two, hold, two, hold, two, hold, two, hold, two, hold, two, two, three, hold, four, three, two, hold. Try that again later when you have enough breath again. <laughs> Good job. The bass clef and treble clef pages are just for you to sing along with the CD and listen and really learn that this big ear looking thing that used to look like an F when the dots were connected is for the low sounds. It's what you'll see at the beginning of every line that holds your left hand notes. So you look at the different pictures, who would make low sounds 
and you circle those on the bass clef page, you look at these pictures, see who would make high sounds for a treble clef that holds all the right hand notes. And then you move on to Mary's Rockin' Pets, the last song in Unit 6. Way to go, guys. So you put your two, three, and four on C, D, E sets right here. And which hand's gonna start? Left hand. Finger two. See our bass clef? That reminds us we're in the left hand, in the low notes. Here we go. Name your numbers and say hold if you see a half note. I see one there, 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 over here, over here, over here. So we're gonna say our finger numbers and say hold if it's a half note. Ready, begin. Two, three, four, three, two, 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 hold. Three, 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 hold. Two, 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 hold it up to the right hand. Three, two, three, four, 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 hold. Great job. So remember when you go from one page to the next, that's called a transition, and those can be tricky. Transitions can be really tricky, so you have to work on them more than the rest of the song. And another transition is when you go from the end back to the beginning. So let's talk about this transition. Left hand two, up to right hand four. They're both E's. So hopefully that helps when you think ahead from this E to this E. Two, 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 up to the right hand, four. And practice just that over and over and over till you can do it with no pauses, no waiting in between. And then you want to practice going from these C's back to the left hand E. So try that transition with me. Right hand, two, hold, two, hold, left hand, two. So that's an easy transition because it goes from this two to that two. And hopefully that'll help you be able to get right back and play through the second verse. And on this song, you get to pick how loud you want to get. If you want to be loud or soft, loud or soft. Do you think a lamb would be loud or soft? It can be up to you. It can be any kind of lamb you want, or horse, or dog, or chick. And great job on Unit 6. So great job. You made it to Unit 7. And now we're going to play some whole notes. Hold up your circle. It's empty, like a hole. And a whole note gets four beats. Can you say that for me? A whole note gets four beats. So when you see a note that's just a circle on the page, you're going to hold out the note till you, the count of four. One, two, three, four. Or if you say the name of the note, then you would count after it. A, two, three, four. Okay? You can draw some whole notes here. Try to play through these train cars. This would be like one, 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 two, three, four. This car over here in the left hand, you would do half note. One, two, one, two, three, four, like that. So you can count out the notes, practice holding out the notes when you see your different kinds of notes. What kind is this one? Quarter note. How many beats does it get? One. What kind of note is this one? Half note. How many beats does it get? Two. Good job. And this is our whole note. How many beats does it get? Four. Next page. Old Pig Donald. Just like Old McDonald. So you're going to put your right hand on the triplets. Two, three, four. Fingertips, hand open, sitting up straight. Left hand. Two and three. Which hand starts? Right hand. Which finger? Two. Loud or soft? Loud. And you gotta watch for when you go to the left hand and go back to the right hand. Notice that you're gonna play the first line two times because there's a repeat sign. Then you'll keep going to the end, which this isn't the end because there's no two lines there. So it says go, play the first page once again to end. Go back to the beginning, play it to the end. And watch for loud, soft, loud. Here we go. Two, 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 
two left hand three two two three two four four three three two two three four repeat two 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 three two two three hold four four three three two two three four soft We got to be able to go from right hand two to left hand three right here. Try that a few times. Two to three, two to three. And then left hand three has to go to right hand four. You'll go three, hold four. Again, three, hold four. That's a hard one, so practice that a lot. This isn't hard because it stays on the same finger. Over here you go from two to three, just like you did at the beginning. And then you're going to have to go back to two from three, because three is going back to two to go back to the beginning. Three, two, like that. So practice those transitions, do those over and over and over, so your tough spots can become just as easy as the rest. Good job on that song. This is the last song in unit seven. Shepherd, count your sheep. Same position. Three, two, two, three, four. We have some whole notes on this one. Gonna have to count two, three, four after you name your finger number. Loud part, soft part to the end. And there's a trick at the end I want you to watch for, even circle it with a colored pencil or something. Right here, the last note, you play with your two finger. Earlier in the song, you go up and land on four, go up and land on four, but this part, you go up, then back to two. So prepare your mind for that so you don't accidentally just hit your forefinger. Ready? One, two, ready, here we go. Three, two, two, three, four, two, three, four. Three, two, two, three, four, two, three, four. Four, hold. Soft three, two, two, three, back to two, two, three, four. Great job. So work on that ending if you need to, and then highlight your louds and softs with different colors. Make the louds one color, the softs a different color, so you watch for your dynamics and how loud you're supposed to play. Great job on unit seven. Guess what? You only have two units left and then you will be finished with your first book. Way to go, it's awesome. This is unit eight and we're going to explore all the alphabet steps, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. If you haven't already, play up your whole piano starting with the very bottom, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Again, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Again, A, B, C, see how many times your piano goes through the whole alphabet. On a full keyboard, you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven whole alphabets, and you'll end with A, B, C. And that's it. If you go all the way up, you should reward yourself with a real or pretend cookie, whatever kind you want. All right, mine would probably be raspberry chip like they have at Subway. So good. All right, then you have Jungle Wedding. You're going to go all the way up the keyboard again, but only with two notes. The note before the twins and the note before the triplets. You can use just your finger threes or you can do a donut. 
All right, so you'll start at the very lowest C. C two, F, 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 two, three, four. C two, F, 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 two, three, four. C two, F, F. And you just go all the way up. Dum, da, da, dum, dum, da, da, dum, dum, da, da, dum, dum, da, da, dum. And you can kind of say the words of this little song about monkeys getting married with the C's and the F's. The next song that you'll go up the piano with is all the notes around your triplets. F, G, A, and B. Can you say that with me? F, G, A, and B. So we already know C, D, E, and then F is before the triplets, so it's after F in the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then our musical alphabet is over. So we have to start over again at A. And what's after A? B. F, G, A, B. So you really want to learn that. And for bonus, you can go backwards. B, A, G, F. Bag, F. B, A, G, F. So you can do it all the way up. F, G, A, B, F, G, A, B. See how my left hand's rainbowing over my right hand to travel all the way up the piano? F, G, A, B, and then you could come down. B, A, G, F, B, A, G, F, but much slower to get used to it. B, two, A, two, G, two, F, two, B, two, A, two, G, two, F, two. So just remember what you're looking for. You're looking for your group of triplets and you're lining up your fingers around the triplets to surround your triplets. Let's look at the next one. So you can't have your thumb way out here. It won't be able to play anything. Bring it up so that all five fingers are resting on the keys. Go back to your floating cloud, your stone on the mountain, place it on the keys and play notes all over the place with your thumb, wherever you want. Good job with your thumb. Page 69 is a fun song, Birthday Train. Your left hand thumb will be on C. You can find it on your map right here. Your right hand thumb will be on F that we played in the jungle wedding. C is before the twins. F is before the triplets. F, G, A, and B. Line those up nice and round, sitting up tall, relaxed, Look for what's going to start the song. Always be 100% sure you know where to start that song. Right hand, one, on F. Right hand, one, on F. I've got it. And left hand's gonna come in over here with one on C. That's right. What's this over here that we see? A repeat sign. So we know we're going to go back to here and play it again, then keep going. And this means we're going to play two notes at the same time. Remember when we had our two notes together at the same time on Cuckoo Clock? They had the same stem. These guys have the same stem. And these guys, since they don't have a stem, but they're on top of each other, we still play them at the same time because they're whole notes. It sounds like this. Four and one at the same time. The outside of my triplets. Two. Two. Together. Two. Four, then up high. Two, two, together. Two, three, four. Let's go back to the beginning and try the whole thing. Are you ready? One, two, ready, play. F, F, G, two. A, A, G, two. F, F, C, C. F, two, three, four. F, F. longer unit so we still have two more songs in this unit so if you need to take a break pause it 
and go back and work on what we just did. All right? Page 70 and 71 is a fun song, Wish I Were a Fish. It uses the same hand position as Birthday Train, so see if you can find that one on F, one on C. Right hand one begins on F. First verse is loud. Repeat. Second verse is soft. Then keep going. We have right hand three on A. We're going to have to work on that transition, but it's just up a step. Two on G, three on A. Right here we have an A and F together. Two, three, four. And this line right here is almost the same as the beginning, but instead of going up to G, we're going to end on F. Everything else about this line is the very same as this page. So that's great. Nothing new to learn there. Let's go from the very beginning. One, two, ready, here we go. F, G, A, B, A, G, F, two, C, C, F, two, G, two, three, four. Keep working on that one. It's a really fun one. It's just stepping up and down and using C. Then you've got snack time. Who doesn't love snack time? If you get this song down, I bet your mom will give you an awesome snack to reward you. All right. This is actually a little different because we're gonna put our two and our three on our D and our C. Keep your one, two, three on F, G, and A, just like we've had in our past two songs. We're gonna start with our right hand, three finger on A, and when your left hand comes in, it's the two on D. So you have to watch out for switching down to that on line two. Goes right back up, you have a mark to help you. Remember to go back up to your right hand, right there. Goes, goes, goes. This is an easy transition from two on G to three on A. Here we go from A back to D again, just like we did from A to D here. We're gonna go A to D there. So practice that three to two, right hand three to left hand two, right hand three to left hand two. Make sure you're ready for that, it's a big jump. And just go over this too, where you do your three on C, left hand, Right hand one on F, C, F, two, C, F, two. Do you recognize where that's from? Our jungle wedding song. The C to the F, ba -ba. and the ending. Make sure you go over this because it's the same as this ending here, except you land on F. Over here you land on G, F, two. G, F, G, A, skip to F, A, F, two, three, four. You ready to try all the way through? You don't have to play it with me. You can just say the notes and the counts with me your first time to make sure you've got it. You could even tap your fingers if you think you could do that with it. All right, ready, two, Three, let's go. A, 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 G, 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 two. F, 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 A, two, three, big jump to D, 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 C, C, up to F, two. G, F, G, A, G, two, three, four. Four. 
D, 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 C, C, F, G, G, F, G, A, F, T. So the CD will play a song. If you're happy and you know it, play two C's. It tells you exactly what to play. It just said play two C's. So you would just play C, C, and it would keep going. If you're happy and you know it, play two F's, and then you'd find your F, F, F. And it's just a game to keep you finding your notes nice and quick. You can play with any finger you want, high, low, do it different every time, just to make sure you can find the notes all over the piano. Great job on unit eight. What? This is awesome. You made it all the way to unit nine. You're about to finish the book. Now this unit might take you a couple weeks to really, 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 really get down unless you put in extra practice. So if you can practice twice a day instead of once or 45 minutes instead of 30 minutes, you will probably finish this unit in one week, hopefully. Maybe in a couple weeks because the last couple songs no, the last song's not that hard, but Eensy Weensy Spider's a little bit hard. So, but I know you can do it, so let's learn how. You ready? Left hand C scale, you're gonna use all five fingers. Put your pinky on C. You ready? That C, not middle C, the lower C. C, D, B, F, G. And that's exactly what you're gonna play on this song. C, D, E, F, G. Let me say, if you haven't already learned your whole C scale, I want you to look up my video on your C scale and learn that. And this will seem super easy to you because of learning the C scale, which is so important to learn for every song that you'll ever play. The next page, page 77, is the right hand C scale. Now this isn't the whole C scale that you'll learn in the scale video. It's just the first five notes. You'll put your one, two, three, four, five, starting with C, because it's the C scale. That's where you'll begin. C, D, E, F, G, two, three, four, G, F, E, D, C, two, three, four. And you do that again, and it's supposed to be soft the second time through, but that's all there is to it. It's so easy. You just want to keep your hands nice and round. You could start with doing stone on the mountain, making sure you can come down and rest right there where your C scale starts. You can also warm up just doing your finger numbers. Five, two, three, like that. On your lap, you can do it. You could do it in the car. One, two, three, four, five, hold four beats, like that. Whatever you want to do, you'll get really good at that pretty quick. Then we're going to use all five of those notes in Katie's Dog Tucker. First, before you do this song, you want to learn how to read the music with these little lines in it. It, it cuts up your song into little chunks. Chunks that all have four beats inside. It's like a room inside of a house. Lots of rooms inside the house, but they all have the same amount of space in them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is where I want you to start clapping and counting. Try it on this line first. Watch me do it first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now try it with me. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you just clap at each note. When you get to that half note is what's important. One, two. Now over here, if you clap and count with Katie's dog Tucker, that's beat three and beat four. So watch how I count and clap that one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? 
So if you can clap and count through that whole thing with a nice steady beat, then I want you to try to play it. Back on the C scale position. Left hand pinky on low C. Right hand one on middle C. Make sure all your fingers have their own key. Nobody has to share. They all get their own. And then you look and see where you start. Right hand, finger one, or thumb, on middle C. Ready? Two, three, and name your notes. C, 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 two. D, 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 two. E, D, C, D, E, F, G, two. And then I want you to pause, and I want you to try that again. Either just naming and clapping like this. C, 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 two. D, 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 two. E, D, C, D, E, F, G, two. Or you can tap your finger numbers along with it. Ready? C, 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 two. D, 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 two. E, D, C, D, E, F, G, two. There's so many ways you can try this. And the last way that we just learned how to do, we want to clap and count it. But while I clap and count it, you could try playing your fingers like this. Okay? Or while I clap and count it, you could actually play and count it. So I'm going to play and count it. You can clap and count along if you want to, but we're just counting. And then you can work on it actually playing the notes. Ready? Clap and count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Now try to play and count it with me like that. Nice and slow. Ready? Two, three, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it might trick you up a little bit because you're saying numbers that don't line up with your finger numbers. But hopefully you've learned the note names and can play them saying C, 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 and you're still thinking about the note names and how it's going up, down, and up, like that, while you just keep counting one, two, three, four. And it would be great if your teacher says it's okay for you to write in with a pencil one, two, three, four, so you know what to count. Good job on that one. You're going to do the same stuff, clapping and counting, on bed on a boat. This song is so easy because it goes, stepping down to C, then back up to G, down to D, 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 stepping down to C, back up, then E, E, D, D, C, 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 so it's just going down, up, down to D and saying the same, down, up to F, two E's, two D's, three C's at the end. It's very easy, down or up. Just watch for that. And then if it has a half note, count to two. Half note, count to two. Half note, count to two. Play the whole thing again. Try to clap and count with me as I play the song. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. and count with me as I play the song. Starts with the left hand one on G. Nice and soft. One, two, ready, let's clap. One, two, three, four. 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 at the end. All right, and then practice it just naming your notes. G, F, E, D, C, D, E, 2, F, G, F, E, D, 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 2. 
but much slower than that. Practice it naming your notes, practicing it counting to four every single measure, every single little section that has four beats in it. Write in the beats again if you need to, if that helps you to be able to count and play. All right, you've made it to the hardest song in the book. This is Eensy Weensy Spider. You're gonna put your hands in your C position, right hand thumb on C, left hand pinky on C. I'm gonna to count to four before we start, and I want you to just say the names of the notes and the counts while I play it the first time. Ready? One, two, three, four. C, 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 D, B, two. Great job if you named the notes or even if you just listened, great job. There's a few things I want you to notice about this song. Right hand goes from E to C three times. Let's see if you can find it. Here's the first one. E to C, two, three, four. Do you see the other ones? The end of the third line and the end of the fourth line. Okay, so remember, practice that. E to C, E to C, E to C. Also, left hand does a skip where that little spider is. G to E. <clears throat> Try that a few times. Left hand. G to E. G to E. Good. And this thumb to thumb, right hand thumb that's loud, because it was loud from the beginning, to left hand thumb playing soft. C to C. C. Try that transition a few times. C to C. G, G. C to right back to C again. There's one more hard transition from right here, middle C, to left hand E. Try that. Go C, two, three, four, E, two. Try that transition one more time. C, two, three, four, E, two. So those are the tough spots. Hopefully if you focus on those and get those down first, you'll be able to play this song so easily. Great job on Eensy Weensy Spider. Keep practicing it if you need to. Yay, you made it to the last song in the book. Great job, you guys. This is your graduation party song. And we are going to be doing the thumb to thumb a lot in this song. Let's see if we can find all the spots. They all have little lines. So, right hand C to left hand G here. C, G, two. Here. C, G, two. Back and forth right here. C, G, C, G, C, two, three, four. We also have thirds in this song where you're going to play E and C at the same time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you have the left hand that goes down and plays low C with your three finger. So it'll just move from here to the three on the C. Got it? Let's try it out. You can clap and name the notes or just name the notes with the counts with me your first time if you're not wanting to play it right away. One, two, ready, name your notes. C, C, G, two. Take it nice and slow. Name the notes with me. Be ready to go from your bottom C here up to your middle C. Try that a couple times. Five, one, five, one. There's one more spot that happens. Right here to there. Five, one, 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 one. Okay, ready to try it out. Whole song. 
One, two, ready, let's play. C, C, G, two. So if you need to keep practicing that song, do it, work on your tough spot, slow it down, stay focused. You don't have to play soft at all on that song, so it's pretty easy. And then here's just some games at the end of the book if you want to play those or go back through your whole book and play the songs with the videos, not the videos, the, or go back and play the whole book with your CD, see if you can stick with those um, recordings of your songs. Awesome job. Hopefully we'll see you in lesson book B.